Health Talk, brought to you by Rapids Regional Medical Center. Maybe it was that weekend football game with the guys. Or maybe it was stretching just a bit more for that umbrella under the back seat. But whatever it was, your shoulder hasn't been the same since. And that's where orthopedic surgeon Daniel Deasis comes in. The most common type of shoulder injury that I see usually in clinic are injuries involving the muscles or the tendons. Um, and those usually involve the rotator cuff. And the rotator cuff are a series of muscles that help the humerus bone or the shoulder bone uh, rotate and reach up in the air and try to reach for objects right in front of you. And though a rotator cuff injury can be caused by a fall or injury, it can also be a matter of wear and tear. Uh, rotator cuff injuries are very common in our population, especially as we get older. Um, the more wear and tear we have, you know, the more rotator cuff injuries we see. Uh, we can initially start with different kinds of conservative treatment options, and these usually include rest, ice, heat, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, those you can find over the counter, and even some physical therapy. Surgery options include arthroscopically, or with a larger incision and open tendon repair. Studies have shown that both techniques are equal in terms of results, but for me, I prefer arthroscopic techniques due to the smaller incisions for the patient. Though recovery isn't immediate, most patients are driving after one month and notice pain relief almost immediately. Surgery is always a last resort for me. You know, I don't do surgery unless I absolutely have to. And so we'll always look for non-operative treatments that can help improve patients' lives and function before considering operations. To schedule an appointment with Dr. Deasis, call 318-443-7622.